Is, is there something that's missing in this community? That's, no, the women's sorry. Now, they may not like me for saying it, but these younger women today, they don't even raise their children. Their children raising them. Look, a woman's place is to raise her children and at the end of the day, tell their husbands which one they had to almost kill. That's how that go. That's why, they, that, that's why the juvenile center is so poor and they're expanding the jails because mothers don't raise their children and putting the blame on the man. And the man ain't worth the quarter because he won't work. T.D. Jakes recently said that we're raising women to be men, which entail means that men are becoming women. Psychologically, mentally, emotionally, sometimes physically. And man, you should have heard the women give him all the backlash. All the women who supported him are turning against him. You know why? Because they don't want to hear the truth from a man, no matter who that man is. They don't want to hear the truth from him. And I get it. I get it. But what if somebody's grandmother, who's been married to the same man for 54 years, turns around and says the same thing? What are they going to say then? Nothing. They're going to accept it. And this isn't about them accepting it. This is about letting you men know who are easily influenced by women, where you can hear Jakes tell the truth, where you can hear BOA tell the truth, and then you can go listen to a woman break it down in a feminine way and change your mind about what you just heard being the truth. Well, let's listen to what Grandma said. Because, see, a man can say what he wants to say, but he can't speak from a woman's perspective. But here's a woman who's going to speak the same words that Jake spoke. And then Dr. BOA, your good OG homie, Gonna come back and chop it up with you on the real tip. Let's take a listen to this video, man. We had mothers to raise us. They, they raised us to be women, raise our own children. Yes, See, y'all y'all go pick them. All y'all want somebody you can put your hand on and, and whine and, and all cutting and all that foolishness. A woman has to be a woman. A woman places in a home. A man places to provide. And if he don't provide, then you don't need it. I don't feel anything because I got my man. I've been had him for 54 years. And I always had to be a woman. I've been a woman. I, look, I've been working since I was seven. I've been raising children since I was five. I've been cooking since I was four and a half. And these women today, all they know is McDonald's, fast foods and stuff. They don't know nothing about cooking and feeding no man. I wait till a man hearts and through his stomach. Get you behind in there and cook. You know, and feed him. And what about the lawyer? And make sure he get up off his butt and go to work. Is, is there something that's missing in this community? That's, no, the women's sorry. Now, they may not like me for saying it, but these younger women today, they don't even raise their children. Their children raising them. Look, a woman's place is to raise her children and at the end of the day, tell their husbands which one they had to almost kill. That's how that go. That's why, they, that, that's why the juvenile center is so poor and they're expanding the jails because mothers don't raise their children and putting the blame on the man. And the man ain't worth the quarter because he won't work. Now you tell me, what's the difference in what she said and what T.D. Jake said? I'll tell you the difference. I'll tell you how many differences there are. Zero. She's saying from a woman's perspective that when she was growing up, she had to be a woman because she was only raised to be a woman. Your woman has to be taught to be a woman. I tell you men all the time, you think you're just going to meet a woman and she's just going to be submissive and you listen to the beta male sim man, John, telling you, a woman will submit if you're the right man. No, a woman has to be raised to be that way. A woman has to be raised to pay the feminine position. A woman has to be raised to be in the household and run the household like a wife should. A woman has to be raised to buy all in to raising her children. And I'm telling you, man, this ain't just now. This started generations ago. But now today, the majority of women you meet are not equipped to be the type of traditional wife that you would want. Why? Because like she said, all they want is someone who can help them live their social media fantasy. She wants to be able to lash out. She wants to be able to talk crazy to you. She wants to be able to put hands on you. She wants to be able to control you. She wants to be able to do all of these things instead of being the type of woman she needs to be in order to get provision and protection. She wants you to provide for her and you ain't probably never going to see her no more. 
She wants you to protect her and you don't even know her. I'm not finna interfere with no man that's got no beef with his woman. That ain't my business. The most I said, don't pass by and meddle in strife not belonging to you. I, whatever they got going on ain't my business because I don't know what she done did. I don't know what she done said. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about what's going on. So I'm not finna get involved in it. I let you baby mill simp man Johnny's go over there and get involved in it. And I hope you do something to you for getting in this business over there. I hope both of them jump on you for getting in their business. Which will and does happen. So you men have to understand that women of today want all of these benefits, but they don't want to earn them. And when I say earn them, oh, I ain't got to earn this. I shouldn't have to earn no ring. I shouldn't have to. Yeah, you got to show that you're worthy of the position. You know what I mean? A women man that wanted me to marry them cuz? Yes, because I'm a great provider and protector. I get it. But you got to show that you're the woman who can handle the other side of it. You got to show that you're a woman who can take care of the household. You got to show that you're a woman. Hey, man, listen, you got to be ready to play the wife position. If I'm going to play the full husband position, you don't get no help. I ain't got none. You got women today, man. There's women that don't even go to work, man. They don't even work and put their children in daycare every day. Think about that. You don't even work. You be at home all day and you don't want to be a mother to your children. So you send them off somewhere all day just because somebody else pay for it. Whatever happened to the love of the prospect of being a mother? Modern women are connected to these positions, man. They're not connected to these responsibilities. They're not connected to the relationship. They're not connected to their emotions. And therefore, these emotional relationships and these emotional circumstances and the undertakings of these circumstances, they can't do it because they're not wired to do it. They haven't been taught to be a wife. They haven't been taught to be a mother. They haven't been taught to be a companion. They haven't been taught to give you a support. They haven't been taught to do any of the things that you saw your grandma do for your granddad. As a matter of fact, that you saw your grandma do for your dad. As a matter of fact, that you saw your grandma do for you. As a matter of fact, that you saw your grandma do for everybody. Your grandma, your great grandma had enough of the right stuff in her to provide that nurturing for a whole family, generations of a family. And you meet a woman today, man, she can't even provide that for her own children. And you mean to tell me that we still need to be out here talking about marrying these bros? Man, y'all crazy. Any man that's telling you that you need to be out here, man, trying to wipe up the modern woman, man, who wasn't raised to be a traditional wife, he's an idiot. Don't listen to him. He don't know what he's talking about. He probably trapped in a situation like that right now. Or either that, or he's some sucker that's been running around paying women his whole life. And now he's tired of paying because ain't no connection when you have to pay him. It's just a job. You, those type of dudes always talking about, well, you should just wipe him up. You need to get away. I see he's a beta male simp mangina. I don't listen to no dude who ever been a paymaster. Boy, if you've been a paymaster, you're still a paymaster. You might be tired of paying, but deep down inside, you're still a paymaster. Stop believing that you could fit a round peg into a square hole, homie. You can't do it. By the time you shave off the edges of that hole and make it a round hole, you might as well just go find a round hole and put the round peg in it. It don't make sense, man. These women of today are not wives. And marrying her ain't going to make her a wife. It's going to make her scallywag with a ring on her finger. A la Russell Wilson. A la Will Smith. Will Smith been married, man, for about 30 years. You see how long this has been going on. This has been going on for a long time. It didn't just start, man. Stop putting yourself in a position, man, where you out here, man, trying to fit a woman into a position that not only does she not deserve, she don't even want it. She don't want to be no wife. She don't want to be provided and protected for, man. Too many of y'all out here providing and protecting women, man, who don't clean up your house, don't do nothing, don't hardly be intimate with you, man, don't cook no food for you, don't do none of that. And I'm saying if a woman don't want to do that, fine, but you can't give her the traditional husband if she's not going to be a traditional wife. All of this has to be rearranged. If the woman is going to be different in the position, you got to change the way you play the position as well, homie. And that's all I'm telling you guys. Stop being out here, man, acting like believing that you just got to be a beta male sim man, John, because these suckers tell you to. These suckers ain't never had no success with no relationship with no women, man. These suckers ain't got no women from the past, man, that they could call up, man, and get with them right now if they want to. They ain't got no women from the past, man, who would love for them to wipe them up right now. They don't have that experience, man. How you going to listen to them? 
They just trying to have misery love company. They in that miserable situation, man. The wife up a woman who don't deserve to be a wife, man. And they sitting around here, man, got their woman doing things like Russell Wilson old lady around here twerking and squatting down, man, like some little. Come on, bro. Stop it. Remember that you can't be a superstar on a basketball team if you ain't got the skills and you're not willing to play the position they put you in. You ain't never seen a 5'5 small forward with a power forward. You ain't never seen a 6'2 center in professional basketball. You ain't never seen in your life a catcher with knees and thighs so bad, knees and hips so bad, he can't even squat down. You ain't gonna never see it. You gotta be able to play the position in every aspect of life. So why you gonna wife up a woman that can't play that position in yours? Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out. value your woman at all a woman does have value but you can't overvalue her and convince yourself that she brings more value to your life than you bring to hers